Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So as I was using Cyberlink PowerDirector today, I started thinking, how does this compare to other video editors that I normally use? So video editors such as Shotcut, Caden Live, OpenShot, and of course, DaVinci Resolve. Now when it comes to comparing all these different features, there could definitely be multiple videos in and of itself. But then I really started thinking to myself, what is the one best feature that Cyberlink Power Director has and does really well that all these other video editors, even ones that are more pro level, don't have? Well, after some thought, it came down to one thing that is very simple in my opinion. And it's really funny that other video editors don't have this or have it consistently. And so that feature is visual previews. So let me show you what I mean. So right here we're under media content, but if I go down here to the effect room, there's like 147 effects and here you get to see the preview of the effect. So this is a really great feature because in this case, you're able to visually see how things are going to look like before you actually apply these effects. And the same thing goes for other features here in PowerDirector. So if I went down to video overlay, it shows you a preview of the overlay. Then we'll go down here to particle room. Same thing here. And then we'll go down here to text room and all the various texts that you can use. It shows it right here, even if there is animation. And then here, transitions, which uh, I love the transitions that PowerDirector provides. It's all here visually. So you have a really great idea of how things look like before you actually apply them to your project. Now, when I compare this to other video editors, this is a feature that either is lacking, which is most cases, or it's very simple. So let's go ahead and head over to Shotcut. And here I have a clip selected. I go to filters. You know, could add any filter. And in this case, there is no preview. So you can't tell how this might look like until you actually apply it. You know, so that is something that I wish it would show before. And the same thing happens in Caden Live. If you actually choose a clip, go to composition, we'll add this wipe composition right here. And here it kind of shows a visual representation. So if you choose the wipe, then you go to wipe method, it kind of shows it to you. But that's about it. You know, there's really not much here as well. And open shot. Uh, probably one of the simplest and best to use for beginners as an open source video editor. It actually does have visual representations. However, it doesn't really show you a video preview, but it does show you an image preview, which is better than what the other video editors provide. And even under effects, it does the same thing. And then finally for DaVinci Resolve, which is the most advanced uh, and pro level one out of all of these. It has no previews as well. And so this is something that really baffles me. You know, I understand that if you're comparing a beginner level tool or, you know, something that's meant for general users, it makes sense to have things that makes it easier to use. And so I kind of think that that's why most pro level video editors don't have a lot of this stuff. But at the same time, I could see the huge benefit of having this feature. And so this is something that I hope that other video editors have in the future because it would just make things a lot easier for all your email marketing needs. Check out AWeber, the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com. Get signed up today for free and also get 100% free complete account migration. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And the funny thing is, you know, out of all these video editors, besides Cyberlink PowerDirector, the simplest one actually has this visual representation, you know, and uh, once again, I do understand that for beginners, having visual cues does help, but I could definitely see how this could be helpful for anyone. And at the same time, it could save you, you know, a tremendous amount of time 
as well if you kind of factor in if you're working on these projects day after day and you know you're trying to figure out what to use and how to look this just makes things a lot easier so that is it for this video of what i feel is the best feature that cyberlink power director has and maybe in future videos i'm definitely going to be doing more of a detailed comparison between all these video editors because there's definitely a lot that these video editors provide and at the same time uh, most of these video editors that i'm using you know they are offered for free you know like these open source video editors or even davinci resolve you know there's a free version and so uh, that is it for this particular video if you did want to see all my video editor tutorials, I have video editor tutorials for all of these uh, different tools. I will leave that in the description area below. And if you had any thoughts on Cyberlink Power Director or any of your favorite or best features, be sure to leave that in the comments area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.